Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft 1.9 Snapshot Tour. Ooh. Zombie meat. Uh, uh, today is Friday, November 13th, 2015. And I am playing Snapshot 15W46A. I didn't record on Wednesday like I normally would because the Wednesday's been snapshot day. Um, but they haven't the last two weeks they've released snapshots late. We're not late, but on Thursday. This came out on Thursday. Yesterday. Um, I would have recorded anyway on Wednesday, but I started feeling sick. And I still have a very bad cold. So um, I apologize. I'm going to be coughing and whatnot. I wasn't planning on recording today, <coughs> but, uh, today was just kind of a bad day for everyone. There was a 7.0 earthquake in Japan, which caused a small tsunami. Fortunately, it was far in the south and it didn't seem to be cause too much damage but it's never a good thing and then of course we had the Paris whatever that is it's still going on and last I heard there was either 140 or 158 people were killed and and yeah, it's just bad so I don't want to be watching TV or looking at Twitter or anything anymore today so I'm going to play a little Minecraft and I I'm sorry, my voice is probably a little raspy. My, I have a sore throat. I'm going to be coughing. I will try to minimize doing that into the microphone and maybe try to clean up some afterwards in the mix. But here we are. And uh, I'll try to keep, I'll try not to go on too terribly long. Look, farm, it's going. But what's this up here? It's a big thing. I decided to build a mob farm. Um, big dark room mob farm. Just getting started. Woohoo! Uh, more or less doing it based on uh, other designs I've seen. I think uh, Mumbo's mob farm kind of works in a very similar manner. Enough room here for the spiders to fall through, so use the water to push them through. And here, I'm going to set up a hopper clock over here to just sort of build it, and I'm going to build a few layers. Uh, I did have a small, small issue. Come on. There we go. Uh, earlier, <coughs> in that, although this is desert, and let me pick up my torches here. Whoa. Ah, stupid Enderman. Okay. Uh, this is desert. This is extreme hills. So it kind of overlaps biomes. And when you're building something over at over Y100 in the air, guess what? Water can freeze. So now it won't be a problem because the water won't be exposed to the sky once I get it enclosed. But that's, uh, uh, yeah. So I'm, I have to pay attention to that and not uh, not the, let that ruin my day. But I had one of these, this horse blocks over here freeze on me. So I put down extra torches, hopefully to keep it from freezing. Um, and they will be covered. I'm going to build a roof on here. So, <coughs> sorry, oh goodness. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with construction on this. Uh, I'm just going to build it. Basically... Oh, don't do that. Uh, I don't have depth strider. That would be very nice. Okay, so I'm going to build two more up. I'm going to... These little fins are to keep these from turning in... The water here turning into source blocks. So that when I pop the button again, 
all the water retracts and the water goes away which then allows for mob spawns I think it's a yeah, it's a you know it's a pretty basic design um, I built it in a creative world last night just playing around and it works extremely well so that's uh, that's what's going on here in the creative world I built it three three of these tall and I will probably replicate that here that actually generated a fairly good amount of mob drops and including things like redstone and glowstone from the witches uh, it, it does spawn Enderman and I suppose I could make it Enderman proof by not going three blocks tall but the redstone linking mechanism kind of depends on it being three blocks tall but I could just drop the roof down I guess but Endermen aren't that big of a deal <coughs> and it's you know whatever so uh, yeah so it was interesting Pop. all this sandstone I wanted something a little bit more solid than sand all this is built on sand and it's not really a great idea but sandstone's expensive I hadn't really used it extensively before but this is like a huge amount of sand fortunately I've got a desert right here but this is a huge amount of sand required to make that okay so while we're here let's uh let's go take care of this and I decided to use the uh, the per per blocks because I think it's just kind of a neat looking block okay all the carrots go down the hole uh, I have to decide what to do about that it seemed the carrots seem especially prone to it and I've been doing some benchmarking and it seems like the carrots and potatoes are the the most productive in that I get the most drops out of them and uh, the wheat is kind of secondary and I could probably grow enough wheat in the farm inside my base that I don't really need to be doing this so I could actually take um, I could I could use the whole thing for carrots and potatoes and I get the best prices on those anyway from the from the villagers so there we go okay we'll let that uh, we'll let that load up uh, oh it's getting dark, starting to get dark oh I think I found a duplication glitch I think so this is this is now filling up nicely but I keep getting on the hopper timer a situation where it stops and the farm just kind of stops working and I get in a situation where it counts down there's one in here and the other hopper is completely full so it's got more sugarcane in it than than a full set of you know five stacks of 64 um, shouldn't be possible because I know I loaded it up with exactly five sets of 64 and several times now it's the the farm has stopped and I've had to pull the extra sugarcane out uh, so I've gotten a few free sugar cane so I think there's some duplication going on there oh uh, let's see here <coughs> so village is more or less the same got a lot of brown coats running around I need to do something about that but they're difficult to move around and I think something has changed that if I put down a track and see look at this did he just throw potato he just threw carrots no oh, okay uh potato i think i have a new villager over here that i haven't shown you Urgh. mending for 26 slightly cheaper than the one that's no longer over there infinity nice uh, looting three 
Uh, power five, punch two. Yeah. So this is a. Uh, wait. Punch two for fifteen. Punch two for twenty-four. So he's still cheaper. Infinity fortune three. So why am I? Oh, of course, duh. So I built up a nice bow. I'm breaking two power five punch two infinity and mending. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've got mending on my sword and both my pickaxes and my bow. It's pretty awesome. Uh, okay. So now if you place down, it used to be that if a villager was standing here, kind of here ish, and you put down a track. You could put down the track on the ground underneath him, and then if you put the cart on there, he would just hop in the cart. Doesn't seem to work like that with this snapshot. I mean, they fixed a lot of things. The uh, textures on all the wooden thing, Dude, are you stuck here? You just have not moved. I don't know. He's been there for quite some time. I can't I can't push him out I'm not quite sure what to do about that because I don't want him so do I have anything here yeah 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 okay we'll deal with that later so one downside to not having a mob farm of any sort is that you're <coughs> I'm sorry Lacking certain, uh, lacking certain resources. So making dispensers becomes difficult because there, on each layer there, there's 27 dispensers. And I have the iron to build the buckets to go in them, and I have the redstone and the, the cobble. But you need a bunch of string, and I didn't have a good source of string, and I rapidly ran out. So I remembered, oh yeah, we've got over here... There's also a dungeon this way. How about the slime farm? Slime farm is going. It's not super fast, but I don't spend enough time over this way, I don't think. And uh, so it takes a while for the things to spawn. I need to build platforms, probably. Hey, dude. Yeah, so I cleared it out not too long ago. But, so if we go over here... If you remember this, spawner. So I cleared this out. I, I made a little bit of room. I put some lights in. Hello, Mr. Spider Spawner. Super simple. Um, I dug out an area up here, put in some redstone lamps. The redstone just didn't quite make it. It got to here and petered out. So I can come down here. Flick the switch, it gets dark in there, and now I have spiders that I can kill. Oh, hang on a second. Um, let's work on repairing him. Whoops. I think it's on the right key. Oh, does that make a difference? No, it doesn't. Not over this. Whoa, 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 spider jockey. Oh, he's got, he's got a magical bow, too. Hey, guys. Yeah. There we go. So it didn't take too long to build this. And uh, once I got it built, it didn't take very long to get uh, get enough string to build all the bows for the dispensers. So that's pretty cool. Ah, get out. I don't know if I like using the trapdoor here or not. but So yeah, so I can go in and beat up on those guys and get some experience and repair all my stuff. Works pretty well. All right, so... Uh, 
What else? Is there anything I'm new to show you? I don't think so. Been doing some mining. I've just been doing grindy stuff. I do have one other thing to show you. But that's going to be... I'm going to... I'm going to do that in the next episode. Because it could take a little while. So let's... Uh, Let's go back upstairs and review the situation. Wow, these are long stairs. So the mob spawner should get me plenty of plenty of drops, get me things like bones and string and stuff like that. Oh, that's not really proper here we go and uh yeah so i think that looked pretty cool up there and i've been using my furnace here as a little bit of a experience thing making this bow <coughs> i i had I, ha I don't have a good unbreaking book source, unfortunately. Um, so I ended up enchanting the... I made a new bow, enchanted it, got unbreaking 2 on it, which isn't... Obviously, I prefer unbreaking 3, but uh, got the unbreaking 2. I had the rest of these on a book. Unfortunately, combining that book with the unbreaking 2 bow was like 30 levels so I have nothing left um yeah so I think we will oh this tree is really this tree's in the way so yeah let me fill up on the chicken here And, uh, hmm. see, I was, I was expecting to have more of the mob farm done by the time I recorded, but, so I didn't plan this out particularly well, but no matter. So we're, um, building, I'm building all this stuff out of this per per block, which will give me some consistency and look I think it's a cool looking block um, obviously I wouldn't want to build a whole city out of this stuff but you want some variety but and I have a good source of it reasonably good source and yeah there we go so I have a fair amount doing okay and then I've got the, the course plant farm over there so there's plenty more and yeah so okay all right so I think that's uh let's check on this make sure you're still running yep you're doing okay good all right well I think uh that's a little mini update next episode we're going to go back into the end so i'll see you then and uh until then have a have a better day and i'll see you next time bye